uh, you've never raised uh, a, you know a penny in uh, external funding right. you're completely bootstrapped uh, profitable again right. you know right. which is um, a, an outlier so you know what kind of influenced you to build differently i mean right. it's india's largest brokerage firm today right. but also built very differently not right. with vc funding and you know any any kind right. of funding so what what influenced your personal philosophy that way no i mean see the thing is uh, when we started the business mm. funding wasn't very easily available uh, mm. because this was back in the day when vc business wasn't hot mm. and broking especially wasn't hot at all yeah. and we didn't really have any pedigree background or or really a great business plan you know we were really thinking of building zerodha for a very niche very active trading community so so we couldn't really go out and raise money when we started but then by the time we had started doing okay which was mm. you know we were you know generating some revenues and profits uh, at that time you know when we met vcs we kind of realized that in the way we are thinking of growing this business we don't really need capital mm. and i think the experience from my previous whatever avatar was that i used to manage money for people yeah uh, and and i really hated the obligation money brought on the table mm. and and uh, if you were to ask me why we haven't raised money i think one of those the reasons has been also that you know this i i don't want to take on an obligation and that's why the company has been zero debt mm. no external funding you know and we've gotten like in the last you, you really years. like the word zero i think <laughs> <laughs> right, no, yeah I mean, zero debt yeah. zero funding yeah. no, but then you know today zero we get a, yeah, we yeah. get a lot of credit for this mm. but uh, i don't know why mm. right i don't know why we get so much credit because mm. i really speaking there should be more businesses uh, who are thinking like us i mean you should raise money if it if it helps you grow fast or hmm. you know it hmm. it uh, you know it it some way you know it helps you hmm. do something better right? but you know raising money just because someone's giving is is just an obligation that you're taking on which can you know which can affect the way you want to run the business as well right yeah. how did the entrepreneurship kida kind of bite you because right. your dad i think was a bank employee he was right. with canara right. bank your mom is a music teacher right. so it's not like you know you come from a family that right. that's <laughs> you know full of entrepreneurs or something like that so how did the entrepreneurship bug bite you i mean it's accidental again you know i mean mm. it's just uh, you know at the right time right place you know mm. there was an opportunity that opened up you know so mm. in the sense i i blew up my account i was working in a call center i met this guy in the gym who said you know will you manage my money and i quit and i started portfolio mm. management um when the customers grew then i realized that uh you know to manage these customers if i became a sub broker it'll be easy right so mm. i went and became a sub broker of a brokerage firm again no it's just happens to us serendipity yeah mm. you know mm. and mm. then in 2000 you know as a as a sub broker i mean mm. and generally i've been very mm. actively interacting with other people who trade the markets and in 2007 8 you know we realized that nse launched this free trading platform for, Z- you know, yeah. uh, it's called nse now yeah, NSE and now. and then you know that's when we thought you know what there is an opportunity now to probably become a broker because until kelash joined there was no tech you know so and you know so now that tech came for free with we're like can you yeah. you know use that leverage that when it's just coming for free and then can you disrupt on pricing but that risk appetite nothing it doesn't come naturally to everyone i mean you know some people are very scared of taking that risk so right. again was there i mean did you always have a risk appetite this you know give right. it a shot and let's see what happens that kind of mindset yeah i mean i think i think it's one of those genetic things you know so yeah mm. so i I've, i've always been like that you know so i've mm. you know i've i've attempted multiple businesses you know like yeah. i've done multi level marketing i've you know i remember I, you should teach guitar and yeah i've told i've taught guitar and, at yeah, some point i mean yeah. I, i mean i didn't even know how to play good guitar but i used to teach so <laughs> so yeah, so i mean that takes some confidence yeah <laughs> so 